Stone Soup by Tony Ross. One day, out walking, the bad bad wolf came across Mother Hen, pecking out her washing. He studied the things hanging on the line, and he had to admit that they looked of the finest quality. Mm. Thought the wolf. There are goodies to be had here. So he stopped for a chat. Good day. Said the wolf. I think I shall eat you and then steal all your goodies. Thank you very much, squawked Mother Hen. But before that, perhaps you'd like some soup? That's very kind of you. Smiled the bad bad wolf. I'd like some soup. Then, I will eat you. <laughs> Mother Hen picked up a stone from the path. I'll make stone soup, she said. It's very special. It must be, said the wolf. I've eaten soup in all the best places and I've never heard of it. Mother Hen boiled some water and dropped the stone into the pan. As the wolf didn't believe that soup could be made from a stone, he sipped a little from a spoon. He spat. It just tastes of hot water. Of course it does, snapped Mother Hen. It just needs salt and pepper to bring out the flavor of the stone. While I'm doing that, why don't you just wash a few dishes? Right. Laughed the bad bad wolf. <laughs> When the wolf had finished the dishes, he tasted the soup again. He howled. It's worse. It's like hot salty water now. Maybe a couple of carrots will help the stone to cook, said Mother Hen. While you're waiting, perhaps you could clean and dust the house? Right. Grinned the bad, bad wolf. <laughs> the wolf tasted the stone soup again. It's not much better. He said. Potatoes, cried Mother Hen. Bless us. I did forget the potatoes. And she went to dig some up. While you're waiting, she called to the wolf. You could bring in the washing before it rains. Right. Said the bad, bad wolf. Mother Hen let the wolf taste the soup again. It's better. He said. But not quite right, fussed Mother Hen. While I get some turnips, could you just cut that into a few logs? As she handed him a tiny axe she pointed to a huge tree and when you've finished the stone soup should be just about ready right muttered the bad bad wolf when the tree was cut into logs the wolf tasted the soup yet again it's fine he said let's eat it now Mother Hen took a sip. Not yet, she said. A sprout or two will really complement the flavor of the stone. While you're waiting, be a sweetie and fix the TV aerial on the roof. Right. Uh -oh. Groaned the bad bad wolf. The soup smells delicious. Panted the wolf when he came down off the roof. Ah, sniffed Mother Hen. There's something missing. Err. Mushrooms, that's what it is. Mushrooms. The wolf stared. While you're waiting for the mushrooms to cook in, smiled Mother Hen. You just have time to sweep the chimney. Right. Snarled the bad bad wolf. By the time the wolf had finished the chimney, Mother Hen had thrown some beans, a little cabbage, a few lentils and a marrow into the pan. 
Proudly she gave the wolf a taste. He was delighted. Who'd have thought? He sighed. That a simple stone would make such a glorious soup. I'm glad you liked it, said Mother Hen, when the wolf had finished the soup. You can eat me now. I can't. Gasped the wolf. <sighs> I'm too full. Fancy that, said Mother Hen. You'd better steal my goodies then and be off with you. The bad bad wolf leaped to his feet and with a terrible roar. He snatched the stone and took to his heels. <laughs>